Hey guys, I'm excited to be partnering with Uber to walk you through the new delivery heat map inside the Uber Eats app. Now, if you're not familiar with what the delivery heat map is, it's a map that will show you the busiest areas in your market, making it easier for you to decide if you should go online and deliver or if you're in a good spot for orders, which can be super helpful, especially if you're a newer delivery driver or have moved to a new area. One of the nice things about the map is that it shows real time hotspots, which are updated every 10 minutes. That way you stay up to date on what areas are the busiest. I know from experience, you can be delivering on one side of town and then it kind of goes quiet only to find out now that it's busier on the other side of town. So having the delivery heat map can really help guide you where there are possibly more opportunities to deliver, especially if you feel things have really slowed down where you're currently delivering at. So when you're looking at your map, you're going to see hot spots which are shown in warm colors. As you can see on my map, there are hot spots that are red, orange and yellow. The red areas show where it's the busiest followed by orange and then yellow. The busier the area, the faster you're likely to get delivery requests or even stacked orders, which in return could potentially help you earn more and stay busier. A lot of the hotspots I see in red on my map are spots where I've consistently gotten orders from over the years. These are usually areas that have a lot of restaurants that tend to stay busy most of the time, but do keep in mind that things can shift quickly depending on the time of day or the day of week. That's where the heat map can really come in handy because it highlights the areas where demand is the strongest. So you're not wasting time waiting around in a slower area, which can make a huge difference, especially if you're new to driving or you've just moved into a new area and don't know the hot spots yet. Having this guidance can really help you decide where to go online and positions you in the right places to possibly catch more orders. I personally like delivering during dinner time since I find this to be the busiest time, at least in my area and weekends also tend to bring in more orders too. But if you're new to delivery driving, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are all good times to try going online because those can be times when demand is the highest. But checking your heat map can offer you guidance for your particular market as everyone's markets are different. What works for one person in their market might not work for another person in their market. Another thing to pay attention to on your map are the different icons which will indicate what type of delivery opportunities there are in your area. So for example, when looking at my map, you'll see a lot of fork and spoon icons. These are a variety of different restaurants in my area with potential delivery opportunities. But mixed in with these restaurants, you'll see other icons like a shopping cart icon, which indicates a grocery store, or you might even see a bag icon, which indicates a store location, as well as a martini glass, which indicates a liquor store. So let's say you're hoping to start off with a grocery shopping order to get your day started. Well, you can easily position yourself near a grocery cart icon, which will be a grocery store, which you can see on your map to potentially get a grocery shopping order. And I'll show you in a moment how to easily navigate to any restaurant or store icon that you see on your map. But my first suggestion would be to position yourself near a cluster of restaurant and store icons like you see on my map. You'll notice a lot of fork and spoon icons which represent the restaurants in this area. And since they're showing up in red, this lets you know that this area is pretty busy. So positioning yourself in a spot like this gives you a higher chance of receiving delivery requests. You'll also notice colored dots near these restaurants. Well, these are also hot spots. If you zoom in, you'll see which restaurant or store this is. Now when it comes to the gray dots on the map like this one, you can zoom in on this dot to see exactly which restaurant or store this is. But this gray dot lets you know that this is a less busy area. But of course, this could change in the next 10 minutes as the hot spots are updated every 10 minutes. Now, let's say it's dinner time and you see a cluster of icons that are red like what's showing up on my map. Well, this is indicating to me that this is a busy area and I have a pretty good chance on getting a delivery request in this area. So once you've found an area that's busy, you can easily navigate to that location by tapping on the icon. 
Once you tap on the icon, you'll see that you can easily navigate to this restaurant or store. The pop-up navigation shows me that it's very busy and it also tells me it will take 13 minutes and that it's 4.2 miles away. It also shows that there are 21 nearby hotspots and at the bottom of this, it says lots of orders here. It's as busy as it gets, updates every 10 minutes. This is nice because it gives you some quick and helpful information up front before you actually start driving there. If you like what you see and you still want to head to this location, then you can simply tap navigate and you're on your way to that hot spot. Another thing that I do wanna mention when choosing where to deliver is to start with the hot spot closest to you and test it out. If you drive 20 minutes to a hotspot across town, you're eventually gonna have to make that long drive back home. That's why finding a busy hotspot closer to home is usually the best strategy because it saves you time and keeps you in your area. So there you have it, the new changes to the Uber Eats heat map, which has several features to keep you in busier spots and to help make your time more efficient. I do wanna thank Uber for sponsoring this video. Always appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.